In this video, I'm going to show you all the processes involved in publishing the, the student's report cards. And I'm going to also show you what the students would see in their My School online account as well as in their emails. So let's get started. So you see I'm on the My School page. I normally close it for more space. You go to Grades and then you select Students Report Card. In this case here, I'll be using a top student. We're going to preview this report. All right, and this report looks good. But we need to do one more thing. We need to ensure that um, Dixon has an email address on the account to pick up the email. All right. So we're going to go to students record and um, look for Dixon. And there we have it. And then we're going to look at our user account. And there's no email address. I'm just going to add mine for this example. Now, if you send us your list of email addresses, we will gladly import those in. What we need, before we can import it, though, we'll need at least their first name, last name, and the email address. Once we find an exact match, we will update the record. Any exceptions will be sent back to you for clarification. So we successfully added an email address to the student account. We are going to go back now to publish the report card. So we're going to go to grades, student's report card, we generally publish report cards by class, but for this example, we'll be publishing just the one student. And this is Dixon. So we start with the surname and then choose Dixon. Now, because we're going to be publishing the report card, we click this box that says publish to myschooljamaica.com. We also want an email to be sent, so we keep this checked. If we're not going to be sending it via email, you make sure you uncheck, all right? But for now, we want to send an email as well. I'm going to click on preview, click on yes, then click on yes. We, we now need to log into the email account now. So each school will have their own email account for this purpose. Once, if you get this issue from Google, just click on advance and click on continue. All right. Then from here, you need to allow the application to access your email. Click on allow and it said it was successfully published, all right? Now, we're now going to log in as, as the actual student now to see what the students would see. So we just, let's just jump online, all right? So my test school is St. James I, and I'm going to log in. And you can see it shows us some analytics about the student's performance right here, all the way down. We can see the attendance, we can see the performance in the different subject areas and so on. And here we have the report card tab. If you click on the report card tab, you will see the report card is published in the same way as you would have in the student appearance. Our students can now print or they can download for their different purposes. All right. And if you, you can look on attendance and from there you will see the different attendance the attendance of the student for the academic year can come to comments to also see the comments that were made for the different periods. You can see this student info from grade seven. In fact, when we come to grades, we will see the current grade. The student is currently in grade nine, as you can see. We can see the information when the student was in grade eight. We can see for the different periods. We can come to grade seven as well. So we can see the student info in grades seven first term, second term, and so on, and the third term as well. We can collapse these but so we can see more in one view and so on, all right? Now, the next question now is how do we get the login information to the students or what we call their user IDs or their SMS IDs? Pretty simple. We could mandate each form teacher to allow them to, to, to be the ones to distribute these IDs. All right, so we can print um, the user account listing. To do that, we go to School Basic, then Reports, then Student User Account. We select, we set the filter. So let's say we want it for say seven T. All right, we click on OK, and here we have a list. The student, it will show the list for the student ID and their names because all the accounts were reset you'll find that 
the password for each student account will be the same as their student ID. Student ID, SMS ID, or user ID, they are the same value, all right? So you use that also as the password. I will show you what the report card look like when it's emailed. So we had emailed a report card for Dixon and you can see I'm now in my inbox. And in my inbox, you will see that I have an email here from St. James High, which is the official SMS email account. The school can use their, you can actually use your own official account, but this is a standard email account your school name dot sms at gmail all right you can see the notice the subject line it indicate that it's confidential and it, it shares the name of the student along with the academic period for the report that is attached the body of the email provides a summary of the as you can see the school name the average and so on it also invites us to download the my school app which is an ideal tool for the parents to have they can download it in the google play store and they will have the same access that they do when they log in to myschooljamaica.com as you can see the report card is attached by clicking on it you will see the your official report card from here you can print and also download all right thank you very much for watching have a good day